Hello friends, my name is Basan. So this is my fifth video on uh, one of my series as uh, the name of the series is Develop and Deploy App on Office 65. And so in this uh, video series, I'm going to show you how we can deploy the app in Office 65. So now this point of time, I mean the fifth video. So I'm going to show you how we can use the PNP Core JS uh, library uh, and deploy the app. Uh, in office 65 so in this app i'm using the angular uh, uh, service i'm creating one service as called user operation in this first service i'm using the one of the uh, basic function uh, to get the site information from uh, pnp core js libraries so i did uh, I, uh, i'm going to use some configuration as well so if you want to see uh, the video and everything so please watch the video till the end and if you like please subscribe to my channel and like the uh, and click like button and share with your friends so let's start with uh, the video so yes let's start with it so we have last time we have uh, used the toaster service to show you the pop-ups now uh, if you if you miss this uh, chapter i would recommend you please watch the series uh, I will put the link at the top. You will watch the series uh, from from series video one to four, so you get straight touch with it. Okay, let me create one of the um, service is ngg for generate as for service, and the name of the service would be the user operating service. So I am using the ng CLI. So if if you know more about, you will uh, see the other uh, available uh, online tutorial as well. Uh, so Angular CLI. So it's very popular to create. Uh, Mm, the component and other like enum directive component class everything and and many more things you can publish and deploy so um, let me uh, quickly go to uh, that um, service that I, I just created so the name of service is user operating service and here i'm going to use uh, the uh, uh, pnp uh, sp pnp core js library i'm going to use this is the resource from github you will see the uh, basics operation so before going ahead we need to import uh, the pnp sp pnp sp hyphen pnp hyphen js uh, so once it is done so we we, will, we can use uh, as all functionalities methods in our uh, function so for that i will going to show you the one of uh, my library so in this library uh, I used uh, I created a one uh, uh, created one site collection is called CDN in my tenant so uh, in this uh, CDN tenant uh, there is one site as uh, there is one uh, library this library name the CDN as well content delivery network so I just give it the name randomly so so i'm going to click uh, i'm going to go to my uh, tenant so this is my tenant and you will find in the site collection you will find the list of site available site collection and this is the cdn and uh, this is the, all the property and this is the name of cdn and let me let so here these are the, all the operations you can do so i will recommend you go and check this operation and what are the other functions are available so this is uh, the cdn mm -hmm. site collection so in cdn site collection you will see that there is another library as well inside i will later i will show you so this is the one function i'm going to create as a private function is get config information and this function i'm going to just specify some of the headers and the and the url that i need to i'm, I'm going to work uh so this url is the same as the name of my site collection is called cdn so once uh, i have configured here so i am use the other method i mean i'm creating another uh, function it's get site information so in this function i'm going to use uh, i'm going to use i'm i'm use this configuration uh, uh functions so this dot a get uh, configuration info and then I'm going to use uh, the helper function dot then the, these are the function I'm click I am use the web so I'm going to show you the web information so there are the list of other functions that are available you can use based on your requirements so but as of now I'm using the simple get function 
to show you uh, the information about the web so if you see you can see these all are the informations are available here so uh, yes so let's quickly uh, yeah so this is uh, so now i'm using the uh, rxjs library as well so in this rxjs i'm using the from keyword and the from keyword is a part of the rxjs and uh, you will f mm, find this if uh, you'll find uh, inside the rxjs as well so so just you uh, select this uh, i'm just going to select it and there is a bulb so i'm click it and it will mention the import from from rxjs so that's it so once it is done i'm returning the data variable so it will it will return the subscriber uh, it will return uh, uh, the observable so uh, basically it's convert uh, the promises into convert, uh, observable so is there in this part i am going to import one of the uh, one of the um, i mean user operation in my app dot module file as well so so in the app dot module we need to uh, include this so if you see the configuration pnp dot sp dot configuration i have header in the header i am going to pass the json and the another is called odata dot verbose so and the site collection so let's use uh, uh, this function in one of my component uh, it's a home component i'm going to use here so for that i'm just in uh, inject in this component uh, in the service is uh, in the constructor so so if you press tab you will see the import user operation service from the name of the file and this on uh, on uh, ng on init life cycle of it's it uh, when the app is first initialized this function will, uh, will be triggered so i'm make it first in public so i need to remove this private keyword from the front of this function and now you will able to get this function from the intelligence and now use the subscribe function and the subscribe function you they, there are three methods first method is the response you will get and the another function is uh, is the error message the, and the final one is a done so both first and second function i mean the first function it will take uh, the so i'm it will take the, the parameters or response parameter and another one is take the error parameter so i'm using the uh, es6 uh, arrow uh, functions so and i'm just whatever we will i will get i will put into the console that's it so and in the final uh, I'm using uh, it will it will not take any parameter and is using the one of the service I use is toaster service so I'm just displaying the message and you can so I'm using this toaster service those services so a success and the name of the uh, message that I need to display in my page when is first time the page is called I mean the home component so this is the message so the web load successfully so that's it so once it is done you will see uh, the message in the screen so so this is the part what we need into the home component so rest of other things i think uh, we are done here so so next part is most important so if you see this is the site collection cdn so and this is uh, so i'm going to create uh, one of the folder here and the name of the folder would would be office 65 once it is done so you will see this folder is created here so now i am this is the url cdn site so i'm grab this url and paste url in, in the uh, index.html because this is the starting page of uh, the app so this is very important in case of uh, in case of the routing so it will tell the base url of the site so this is very important step so next step i am going to use to ng build and 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 release in production build 
there's everything so once it will take some time once it is done you will see uh, the deploy folder uh, under under source and this deploy folder you will find the rest of the file uh, available and it, all the compress and uglyfy so you'll find it will take some time to uh, compressing everything each and every file so once uh, the process reached to 100% so you will get uh, the compressed file so in this file there is one HTML file and uh, so you will see uh, so let me this these are the message and you will see in the DST you will find that these are the uh, rest of the uh, files are created inside the folder the office 365 test so now i need to rename this aspx this is most important thing because when uh, inside the library when we push the html file it will render as it is as a text file so for that we need to use the aspx page so it will render as per our need so once it is done you will see uh, all the files are uploaded successfully so now it is done when so now i'm going to click it so let me see loading loading bang so you will see and this is page and let me check the console so i'm not getting any information so if you see global is not defined so this is the error i will get so i need to fix this error because they will not find the global variable so for that i need to add some javascript at the top so i just going to check if global equal equal to undefined set the window as a global that's it so once it is done i'm going to compile and prod and release for production build now i am going to perform the same step again i'm going to push these files into the uh, into in the cdn folder so yes let's do it now inside the aspx folder i need to first need to rename it so aspx and next step i need to drag and drop into the office 65 folder oops let me do it again okay so now i think uh, everything is done i press replace all so here we have successfully done so next step would be I think uh, we are done here nope there are something there are the things that are pending so we need to work on it let's see so first I will click the index.aspx files to check whether it is worked correctly or not so first of all I am going to open the browser as well so this is a browser and now yep if you see this message we have loaded successfully now I'm going to press F5 to check the console as well. Oops. The property browser animation module. Okay. So I need to use this broader uh, this animation feature as well for toaster. So it's because the toaster. So you will you will find I will get the successful uh, object, but uh, due to uh, this animation issue, I got the error message. So I'm going to quickly copy it and go to uh my uh, module app module and uh, in the import i need to uh, add this as well so so yes forget so you can select and, and click this bulb and it will automatically append add import so this is done so next step i need to perform the same operation again i need to build the package again and put the files into uh, my cdn folder so let's do the same thing again and it's done completed now the next step i need to copy the file into this folder so for that i need to go to this office 365 test and i need to deploy it put the changes here and replace all place all so yes all the files has been replaced so now I need to check oops I forget to change rename this file so let me do it again change the extension of this file dot aspx and do it again yes I need to change the name of this file and drag and deploy drag and drop 
to the file mm. so yes let me do it again because that i'm not seeing any message yes now i got the replace message and let me click this file again yes you will see that i've loaded successfully if i press ctrl f5 you will find uh, i think there is no error right there is no error error and if you see these all are the information we are uh, we we got from uh, the rsjs library and this is a url so i think you know uh, we are done here and yeah i hope uh, you will like this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press like button and i will catch you later thank you bye